So this is it, the um, famous Cuban sandwich for the Columbia restaurant. Um, different than a lot of Cubans because it has salami on it as well. As addition, in addition to um, the cheese, the mustard, and it's a good salami and a good ham. They do the ham um, right here um, in house, and what else? The roast pork down there too somewhere. Okay, and buttered nicely, grilled. I've had some new age um, Cubans and um, contemporary modern um, and inspired, but you know, I think I like the traditional, um, you know, this is the way you do a thing, not the uh, new age nonsense. And all right, with some nice plantain chips too. Not those awful banana chips you get everywhere, but uh, the plantain chips. So this is it, that Cuban bread from the Columbia restaurant. Probably, even though we're in St. Augustine, uh, famous for the restaurant because uh, I think their original restaurant was in Tampa. Um, and I didn't make it to the bakery when I was there. Okay, it looks good. Cuban, we've got a sampler plate with um, a, a beef stuffed, I think, leche, And then uh, an empanada. And the lechon, the roast pork, and it's served with the black beans and rice, which I'm assured they do in-house, and you know, they don't dump them out of a can, and the plantains. So who knows, there might be something more in there, um, we'll have to see. And, um, okay. And this is on the second level at the Columbia, and it is in the bar room. Okay, yeah, and okay, and we got the wine. Um, oh, right, on the second floor, the wine cellar. So it must be cooled over there to be the wine cellar on the second floor. Two boxes. Here's your pork. Mm, plantains. Lechon. I can just cut this. And yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. Okay, and I think their sauce on here is something special too, so we'll have to give our critique on it. Okay, so there we go. They've even got their own hot sauce. And I'm going to say, you know, it was okay. The leche, or the, um, yeah, the lechon, the roast pork was not bad. Um, you know, where, what other restaurants do you get that? And the stuffed beef, um, the chorizo. I do like the, the chorizo from my farmer's market, um, um, Temple Farm. They're, they're absolutely the best. The rice and beans were outstanding. The plantains, um, oh, my favorite, the, the, uh, the empanada. Um, so even if I say, okay, it was a little industrial and mass produced, uh, nobody else is doing this. Where else can you get this food? So um, the Columbia, you know, definitely, definitely worth a stop and a visit. Let's see what's on the top of this menu for next time. Let's see, there's the chorizo with sauteed onion. I guess maybe they just have that with bread. Um, oh, here we go, a black bean cakes. Um, hmm, maybe like a fritter? Well, it's served with guac guacamole and cream cheese. Um, I think I've also tried what here? The, um, hmm, and the fish, I think I've had the Mai Mai with, um, yeah, a really good sauce, as I remember. But that was on another visit. Okay, and the paella, the one without the shellfish, since I'm not a fan of shellfish, with the chorizo and the um, chicken and the pork. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we didn't get to keep the fancy pan at the table. That's what I believe the dish is named after, and this is Potter's Journal. If you're a ceramic artist wishing this, watching this, okay, probably pretty good, but not the one that you saw Simon Leach cook in one of his early videos from Spain, so if only he would have all us potters over um, to his place now and do it again, that would really make a great day.
so they are all a little bit different. So let's see, that one's mostly blue. This one's got the little flowery thing. They are hand painted in Spain. I like this one. It's got the most red on it. And what else? Hmm. I like the intricate one. And um, yeah, very detailed. Or delicate. Um, hmm. And then what about the ones in the back? And what about the ones up above? You know, they come out of mold, but it is hand-painted Majolica. Upside-down flowers, actually. Okay, so that was it. The Colombia, a gem of a Spanish restaurant since, what is it, 1905. Yeah, it wasn't bad. They serve a lot of people here. Where else can you get Spanish food in the U.S.? Um, um, unless you know a Spanish grandmother. Um, I, I am a bit spoiled because I get the chorizo from my farmer's market from some people I know who raise their own pigs and have it specially processed so yeah unfor and 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 uh yeah no the pay uh you know we saw simon leach do it and we're spoiled by how beautiful his look then must have been so um, if you're a ceramic artist okay but if you're in st augustine do stop in there are a lot of restaurants here though so if, uh, if you have more time than just a day or an afternoon try them out